What's going on, y'all? Back at it again. Want to keep giving you guys some content that you guys can uh, digest, but I also want to take you along on my experiments. So since I've moved, I've realized that my normal consistency of cell activator has been a little bit different. Now, all the materials are the same. It's just I had to dilute the cell activator with one more part of polyacrylic. If you look in the description, it has my recipe guide. It kind of talks about my bloom recipe and all the parts. Well, one part of the polyacrylic was in the original recipe. So if you just substitute that with two parts, again, depends on humidity, temperature variances, and whatnot. But where I am right now, I found that using the two parts really helps. So I'm going to try my hand at another bloom today. Because I was finding that the, uh, the lacing was breaking and so I'm just you know doing experiments you know for science and stuff but I'm gonna do more of uh, my traditional like bloom style with puddles and we'll see how it goes so how's everybody doing this glorious day it's actually a really dull day here in Detroit Very overcast, very cloudy, just not gorgeous. No, the sun's not shining, and it's my last day off before I have to go to work tomorrow, so. Kinda was hoping that I'd get a little bit of sunshine, but that's okay. You don't necessarily need it. So like I was saying with the cell activator, all I did was add uh, one more part polycrylic. It made it a little bit more fluid in consistency than the rest of the paints, which is what we're after, I was seeing that it was almost the same thickness as the paints underneath. So that was kind of stopping it from being able to do as much as it could. I already see it reacting really well with the powders and we're going to do it caveman style. I'm going to have to pick it up and blow it like I used to. Hopefully my big nugget won't get in the way. experimentation may be required to get it back to the old consistency that it was. Hmm. It has been quite a while since I've done the traditional blooms, so... <coughs> so yeah, there might be a little bit more experimentation required. I don't know. The, the temperature of my studio is a steady 73 degrees. There's no open windows or vents that are running, so there's nothing that would change that. So, I don't know, I'll have to experiment a little bit more. But, I mean, for now, cells are forming. So we might as well see what we get, right? I mean, I'm already liking kind of what I'm seeing. Yeah, more experiment. Mentation for sure would have to be done to kind of get things back to the way they used to be. The cells and lacing is there. It's just not blowing my hair back, if that makes sense. So, I don't know, maybe I'll re pour. Because it might have been just too much of the cell activator, too. Didn't have much of a chance to actually do much. So let's see, let's see what we get. I'll make smaller puddles this time. I really want to be able to get back to kind of the old blooms that I used to make. And you know, it might as well be that I'm just out of practice. And that is something that I'm sure we all can struggle with at some point or another. 
And that's fine because I will get as much practice as I can. I grabbed my old cup of this stuff, so we'll see. Maybe it was just a fluke with my last video that it didn't work quite well. It's quite possible. Quite possible that it was user error, but... possible that I'm gonna have to find a new way to mix this stuff. And right now that's just my inner monologue speaking. So for now, yeah, I really don't like the way that looks. I mean it's almost a marble-esque effect, but Definitely not the look I'm going for, but this kind of just goes to show you that sometimes, guys, things don't go as planned at all. So back to the drawing board for me, that's for sure. <laughs> but I'll bring you guys down if you want to check it out. Some of the metallics are pretty nice, actually. So with this one, you know, a little too much medium with the powders. Cell activator did not quite do what I was hoping it would do, so more to follow on that. I will definitely update my cell activator recipe to kind of give you guys something better to work with. But all in all, it looks really interesting. It's not what I was going for, but I don't hate it, if that makes sense. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.